Let's go over some strength training myths that every writer should know about, especially women. The first one, that cardio is so much more important than strength training. Now, this is kind of one of those things where you're just like, well, duh, of course it's important. Cardio is the main gig of when it comes to mountain biking and to cycling. Well, there's a lot of good things that come from strength training that kind of help you with your cardiac endurance. Now, endurance is what's going to keep your stamina. It's what's going to make you last longer on the trails, but so is your strength. Your strength can boost your metabolism. It can help you with your performance actually on the trail, like being able to do more of the power moves, the harder moves that you want to do. It can also help you with the top steepest part of the hill. That comes from some of your strength training. Also, it helps you stay out of the injured category. If you're going to have a crash or you will potentially crash, then what's going to help you stay on your bike is your strength. It's also going to help you if you actually do crash because the stronger you are, the better you're going to be able to hold yourself together. Another myth is that strength training will make you slower because you're going to be too bulky. You're going to be, you're going to weigh more. You're going to just be slower as a whole. Like when you think of like the muscliest man you, you know about, like those big old strong men, you're like, those guys can't run and sprint fast at all. Well, that's kind of one of the biggest myths is that they actually can move faster, but also you're not going to get that bulky. You're not going to get that toned with what you're doing to complement what you want to do on your bike. A lot of times we run out of time, we run out of ability to do that much. If you really want to tone, you really want to bulk, then you're going to really have to focus in on your strength training and do it like six or seven days a week or at least five to six to make sure you're getting the areas that need to get to get that hypertrophy, to get make the, bus, the muscles bigger. And you're just not going to get that with what you would add on with strength training. What you would add on gives you actually more speed. It gives you that sprinting power. So now I want you to think about your sprinters. Think about how big their muscles are. They're good looking, aren't they? And they can go really fast. It's just a different way that you train yourself and how you add in some of these strengthening things. It helps you with your core. It helps you generate power. These all help you with going faster on your bike and also feeling more confident, which will in turn help you go faster as a whole as well. Another myth is that you need all this fancy gym equipment. You need to go to a gym. And that's just not true. You can do it right in your own home. Grab some kettlebells, grab some bands, some lighter bands, some heavier bands, and a mat, plus a foam roller, and you're there. You have so much that you can do with just that equipment in your home. It's unreal the number of different things and the workouts that you can do. That's why my workout programs that I have are meant that you can do them at home or you can also do them in a gym. It's great. Another thing that people think about whenever they think about strength training is that it's only for the people that are really good at mountain biking that need that extra edge. Well, actually it's the opposite even. Well, yes, they do need strengthening, but the people that can almost get the biggest benefits out of strength training are the people that they're slower. You want to get faster and you can't. You want to get more confident on the bike and you can't. These people, maybe you, have that feeling that you just can't get ahead. You would benefit so much from your strength training because it gives you that umph. Your endurance isn't quite there. And so what you can actually do is you can make your strength training compensate a little bit initially until you get your endurance up. It's a great way to make you feel better and more confident on the bike, but not have as much time and energy put into some of your endurance training that you'll need to have. And you'll eventually get it as you ride your bike and as you just go. But actually the newer you are to the sport, the newer you are as an athlete, or the more that you have to go, the more benefit you're going to get from some of your strength training because you have a much longer progression that you can go. The last myth I'm gonna talk about is that you can't strength train and ride at the same time, that you have to choose one or the other. That's not true in this. 
well. I mean, obviously I'm going through this, but you have to kind of focus in. Different priorities come at different times of the year. Winter time, off season time is when you prioritize more strength training, heavier lifts, longer workouts, and where you gain more strength. It's also where you're doing more base miles when it comes to actually riding. And so you're not pushing yourself on the bike quite as much. When it comes to your in season, you're riding more because it's in season. It's time. The weather's nice. There's more sun. Their daylight hours are more. You're going to be able to be on your bike more. And so you're going to be riding more. And then your workouts that go along with that, they coincide with it. They're not quite as heavy a lifts. They are not quite as long of workouts. And they help you with your riding. They don't make you so sore that you can't go riding. That's the changes that you have to see within your off-season and in-season programming to make it where you can do these things alongside your actual riding and where you get your rest, your recovery in that same week, in that same time period. And so you don't burn yourself out. I hope this was super helpful. If you're looking for a strength workout and endurance workouts to follow for women mountain bikers, check it out down below. And I'd love to know if any of these opened your eyes to different things that you may not have thought about when it comes to strength training and writing. Cheers, y'all. Thank you.